Hello. I'm back again, and this time I'm going to do a multicolored strip background. Okay? So all you need is a bunch of strips, which I've got, and you just take one out and put some glue on it and lay it down on there. And this is just a just a front sheet for on a card, just a layer. And I'm just going to use simple old glue stick because that'll work. Boy, is it sticky too. All right. All right, so I like to start this with one long one going across kind of almost corner to corner. And then I like to start filling in next to it. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Woohoo. That's pretty, but they don't have to start really watching what colors I put in with it. But you know what? So what? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this one. Let's see. We'll put this one this way. All righty. Oh, I think this one's part of a tissue box. It feels like it. Yep, it does. Good. Perfect. All righty. And then we'll do orange, yellow. Ooh, let's do a yellow one. And I just need a kind of a small section here for this part right here. Nice. Alrighty, and then we can start doing some going the opposite way. Alrighty. Yellow, orange. Oops, here's another orange. Are there any pinks and purples? Yes. Oop, there's another purpley one. Ooh, we could do it on that side too. That really pulls that color out. Well, let's go for it. There, nice. A little bit of this yellow one. And I'm making sure I'm butting them up against each other. And then we've got to turn it this way so that we can start going back this way again. Okay. And this one will do. Perfect. Okay, so now we can turn this over and we can trim these. So then we can continue using these same bits over and over. Have you ever made one of these cards? I think they're a lot of fun to do. And it just amazes me how totally different they look depending on what papers you use. And that's the only difference. Yep. All righty. So we have this one, which we can go ahead and do another one. Maybe I'll do this one here. Oops. Get a little bit longer. There. see. Is that far enough? I think so. And an orange. Okay, then we want to turn this other way and go. I wonder if that would just fill it in. No problem could do two. All right, so I'll do this one first. Do a little bit of yellow. There. And then we'll fill in this next spot with this. All righty. Perfect. There. Then we can take and turn this over and trim these ones off. This is looking really pretty. Is this that pretty colored one? Yes, it is. All right. So there's three going that way. 
I like to do the first one and then sets of three. Three this way and then three this way and then three this way and three that way, then three that way. So we've got three this way, so now we need three this way. All righty. Will that one fit? Ooh, just barely, I think. Oh, which way does it need to go? That way? Okay. So if I got this end straight, then we'll know if it's really going to fit or not. All right. Will it fit? Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. Nice. And we may as well go ahead and put this on. Need to have a, a flat top on them. cousin just became a grandma. I'm so excited for her. That's so fun. Okay, so there's one, two. We need one more. All right, we can do an orange one or a yellow. Ooh, here, let's do this one. That's pretty, and that fits. Yep, it does. Ooh, I don't like that little... He's hanging there. All right. You've got to give this a try. It's just, it's so simple and easy. And it looks so pretty. All right, so there's one, two, three. So now I can go this way. We can do this one and, ooh, we could do this little yellow one. Cha-cha right there. Put that one, will that one fit in there? Nope, but this one will. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. And we will do this one. Little tiny dinky corner. Alrighty, and then we just have this side left. So, which, oh, I never put any more of this on. Silly me. <laughs> just that one piece right here. Oh, well, that's okay. All right, so we're going this way, so we want how about this yellow first. All right. Nice. And orange. And pink. Yep. Definitely the pink. Since it's sitting there saying, Use me, use me. <laughs> All righty, so then we just trim this down. And we can either put it on the card as is, or we could throw it in a folder or a crimper to put another type of design over it. Plus, that does reinforce when you, when you do that. It reinforces the pieces that you've stuck on there. If you do run it through a folder or a crimper. All right, that is pretty. I like the way that came out. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and throw it through a folder. Why not? I have a snowflake one here. I think I'll use a snowflake since it's sitting there. All righty, we'll put this in there. We can put these strips back in here. little bits can go with the other and these ones can go in the garbage all righty let me put these strips back away and i'll get my machine there all righty so let's go ahead and run this folder through it just amazes me how simple and easy this is to to do stuff like this and check it out that's cool 
What a neat design. And even though it's snowflakes, looks kind of floral to me. Alrighty, so now to make it into a card. And that part's easy. We just need a card front. Let's see, is that a card or just a, a front? Nope, that's just a front. All right, oops, don't lose those. Come on, I just need one. <laughs> Two are stuck together, there we go. All right. Oops, there. All righty. And then we can either just lay it down and glue it straight on, or we can actually 3D it. Well, it looks like when I was trimming it, it got a little crooked there. I thought it felt kind of funky. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Let's trim the edges. I'll ch better check them all. It's funny, just the slightest little sliver. Huh. Alrighty. Might as well go ahead and do that one too. There. All right. That's really pretty. All right. Maybe I'll leave this one flat this time. And I'll put it on with some tape. when you do that then you can lay it down and you can maneuver it around until you line it up just where you want it and once you get it yeah just hold it down and pull these strings Woo! yeah and you try not to move it when you're doing that <laughs> you want to hold it down good all right there that's better well hi there butler what you doing huh uh-oh you're moving the camera <gasps> hey no tell no tail up here. <laughs> no tail. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. I know you want to stay on the desk. I know you do. But you can't stay on the desk. Come here and I'll give you hugs. Okay. Dear. Okay. <laughs> You're being a stinker. Go play with your brother. All right. There. Sorry about that. That looks really pretty. So now all we need is something on the front. So let's pull out the words and see what we've got. Let's see. I like that. Let's put that one on. Why not? All right. So that's really pretty. All right. Now you're going to see a neat little trick that I like to do. Get a piece of scrap paper over there. I want a black border to go around. So my trick is this. I keep these dry erase markers because they work the best for this. And I just lay it down and just go, ta-da, black border. Black border. I like doing the faux black borders because it looks as if you've lined it the backing with black paper when you haven't. And it makes it lighter. Not that this little piece is going to make a difference. But if you're lining the whole paper, the whole card front, if I would have put, the, put it around here, a regular piece of paper, another sheet of cardstock, then that would be three, four layers of cardstock. So one, two, three, and then the black layer, four. That's a lot of layers. So I like doing this because it helps helps with that postage that's for sure sometimes just a couple ounces will make a just a little bit will make a big difference so where do we want this there uh, oh, right there or there a 
up there. All right, let's put it up there. Put a little tape on there. nice all right there we go he will be our piece and then we can put a little bit of bling so let's look at the bling and see what color do i want oh let's see put dark purple it might be nice black or you know what? how about the orange why not let's do the orange that stands out we can put some right there Another one of my tricks is to use your exacto knife and pick up the dots with them. All right, I'm thinking perhaps if we do one, two, three, and then we can do one and two. That's pretty. I like that. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, so a multicolored background, strip background. Isn't that cool? So I hope you're, you'll give this a try. If, if you've done this before, then let me know in the comments. And if you've got any special color combinations that you'd like to see, let me know. And I can see what I can come up with for you. So, and if you are enjoying these videos, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.